of the only reasons to actually make the movie other than, you know, to try to like, you know, keep the story going is these guys. We knew everything about these guys, but the people that actually watched the movie wouldn't even have like a scratch of like who they actually were and who they created. And I'm so happy because it, no pun intended, like to give those guys a stage to like go and go crazy on is the whole, you'll see, you'll see it and you'll be, shocked at like how fun and lovably kind of moronish they all are and, and how much they're kind of trying to learn and, and change. And each character has their own flavor and their own arc and their own thing, you know, uh, much, much like a boy band, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they're, they all have different personalities and different voices that are very unique from each other. Um, you know, everybody has their thing that's, that, that, that has their note that they play that's just, you know, impeccable and, and different from each other. I, you know, I'm a huge fan of Channing, but I have to say, I, I was equally blown away by him as a producer on this film. There have been times where he sussed things out in rehearsal where I was like, uh-oh, this could be a dead end, and he figures it out and he and Reed and, and Greg just have this synchronicity and they get together in a corner and suddenly they come back with an even better idea and the scene takes on a whole new life and it all makes sense and it works. So the dancing was, was like a big thing of like, all right, for the first film, you kind of have to adhere to like the, the inherent lameness of the reality of male stripping today. So we wanted to like at least prove that we knew what it was and we weren't just trying to like step up it and like, you know, make it bigger. And uh, we, we kind of were like, okay, if there's any reason to do another one other than the guys, it's to just blow the dancing out and be like, let's do the best stripping within a, rea with a, real, within a real world as that you can do. And I think that's what we did. I was the only guy that, you know, was, was getting in shape and, and realizing you know, like I'm, I'm sitting there reading Joe's evolution book and seeing him and I'm going, I'm, and I'm looking at my AARP card going, really? <laughs> 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 like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. Mainly it's because it's great for me, like, you know, because the way Chan dances, like, you know, the bar's set so high, it just, you know, I set, my only thing I could probably do is set myself on fire next to him. Where <laughs> maybe I could pull the eye away. So it's just like, that bar's set. They won't be able to blink through that, the, the, without a doubt. That is, I was genuinely, and I'd seen it time after time, and still, time after time, m mouth agape watching what they do. They're, it, that, trust me, that scene will not, you won't be able to blink. It's a girl group movie. It's, you know, grandma, mom, daughter, granddaughter, they're all gonna come in packs to, to the movie. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's- You heard it here first. That's a given. Meet you. Magic. Magic money.